I'm Tactical Pascal, welcome to the channel, I hope this finds you all safe and well. In this DCS World video, I'm going to show you how to work out relative motion so you know where to put your aircraft to intercept a target in an efficient manner. It also works if you want to join a tanker, but that's for another day. So for this one, we're going to scramble as a pair of MiG-21s and go and intercept a target we're getting told from by GCI. Let's get cracking. So here we are in our MiG-21, we'll just get ready for takeoff. So, bra 267 for 140. So first thing we want to do is get airborne. So we're going to thunder off down the runway, and we're going to turn right heading 267. That way we can judge the relative motion of the target. So passing 200, trim our little bit ready for the takeoff, 250, lighten the wheels, get and rotate. Up we go, bit, <laughs> bit of a climb there. Just put up a little speed as the gear comes up, then fire draw is lost. So, right hand turn off to the target's heading of 267. What I'm going to do now is tell my wingman to turn his radar off because we don't want the target to know we're coming. So, mine's is on standby too. So, wingman's rejoined, flaps going up to the neutral position, so, or the up position rather, and now we're going to fly towards 267 as the last bear in the GCI gave us. We'll ask him again. So, bogey dope, he's going to tell us where the target is. 263 for 130, so we're going to roll all the way right around onto 260 to cut off that target heading. Or rather, Cut off the bearing. So passing 240, 250, rolling out about 260 now, a little bit further, 260. So we're going to continue to climb, we're going to get that speed up now, we'll do a gentle climb. So we're going to ask for bogey dope again. If the bearing has gone down, that means the target is moving from our right to the left of the bearing between us and him. So bogey dope, and we'll see where the target's moving. So 261 it was, 263, so it has gone down. So here's us over here. We are airborne and we are flying heading 260. That direction there. Now the target initially when we got our bra was 267. Then it went 263. It's now down at 261. So that tells us that the bearing is going down. Now if the bearing is going down, that means the target is moving to the left of the bearing from you to target, so from fighter over here, over to uh, target, which is off to the west here. That bearing is going down, that means the target is moving that direction somewhere. Now with simple geometry, we can work out the heading of the target. But first things first, we need to create a constant bearing decreasing range. So I know already that target is flying somewhere in that direction to the southeast because I've now pointed straight down the datum and the datum is changing. That means we are not on a collision heading. So I know the target's not heading towards me and I know the target's not going that way because the bearing would be going up. So if the bearing goes down, target is going to your left. Bearing goes up, he's going to the right of you. So what we need to do, and I'll do that in a second in a video, is uh, turn left by 50 degrees. So from this bearing, we're going to come left 50 degrees. So the bearing is 260. We're going to turn left onto 210 degrees. So our heading is going to go down here somewhere on a 210. Now, if this bearing stays the same from me to the target, I can then judge where the target's heading is, and I'll cover that in just a moment. Now, the reason we only go 50 degrees is because if we're flying a jet like an F-18 or an F-16, if we go 50 degrees, we can still keep the target at the edge of our radar coverage. We've got a 60 degree cone, and we can turn our radar so it keeps it to the right of the radar coverage. So if it does maneuver, we've got 10 degrees, we can counter that. So we never go more than 50. 50 is a maximum we want to be turning. So back to the video. 
So we're going to turn left by 50 degrees because that target is moving from the right to the left. So we're going to turn left rather onto 210, not right. So we're going to turn left and we're going to go 50 degrees in front of the target. That's going to give us a lot of lead to get in front of where he's going. So rolling out there, 210. Continuing our speed, continuing our gentle climb up again now. The target's at 9,000. We want to climb up a little bit here. And we're going to get another bogey dog. So it's 259 for 90 at 9,000. So we're on a cut-off heading, so it's bearing is roughly 260. So let me rotate my little rock around. So it's just a little bit of SA there. And I'm going to ask him again. Boggy dope. So 260, so it stayed about the same. So that means we're on a constant bearing with decreasing range. And I'll pause the mission and I'll bring up the Photoshop and I'll explain a little bit more about that. So when I say constant bearing, decreasing range, I mean bearing from me to the target as I'm flying down this direction and he's flying down his direction. The bearing from me to the target is staying the same. I always forget to turn that off. It's staying the same. So that bearing is staying the same, staying the same. So that means we know where the target's going. It also means now we can see what the target's heading is because if the difference between... So the bearing from fighter to target is not that. <laughs> the bearing from fighter to target is 260. That means that the bearing from the target to the fighter is 080. Now if that bearing is staying constant, I can use my heading as a reference. So if my heading is 210, that is minus 50 degrees. So to the other side, what I'm going to do is add 50 degrees. So 080 plus 50, that tells me the target is heading about 130 degrees because that bearing of 260 Zero eight zero is staying about the same. So these must be the headings. So if I've gone 50 off and the bearing has stayed the same, it must mean he's 50 off. So we are on a constant bearing, decreasing range, target heading 130. So all we need to do now to intercept is keep flying down there. As we get closer, turn our radar on. We're going to maneuver a little bit and then just get a little shot in behind him as he's there. So we'll show that in the video now. So now back in the cockpit, if the bearing from us to the target is 260 and we are turning, we've turned 50 degrees off, so we're heading 210, the bearing from the target to us is 080. So if we take it, if we add 50 to that, that means the target is heading 130. Let's ask for another bogey rope, that's the wrong menu. So 262, so we've actually got in front of it a little bit here. So we've done our cutoff. So we've now got two degrees ahead of where we are. So we're now getting a little bit of lead on the target. Still climbing up through the clouds. So the target is off to our right somewhere. We'll ask for more bogey dope. So our wingman's just called Spike 2 o'clock. Tally on the target over there. Let me zoom in. So we've done our headings and we've got ahead of the target here. He's off to our right. So now if we want to get our weapons ready, leave it on and Fred, I'm going to go for uh, left hand side of fire pylon 2 first. Back to pylon 1 first, disregard. And now we can see the target. What we're going to do is we're probably about 20 kilometers away, so we're going to turn straight towards him now. And then let him go past us, and then we'll roll in behind. So we we said he was heading about one three zero. So two seven zero for twenty five. So that's twenty five kilometers in the mig. 
So what you can do is we'll come right a little bit more. Just by about 10 degrees there. Get the heading 270. I'm not going to have my radar on yet. But I maintain that heading. Wait until he comes to my left slightly. Then I'm going to turn it on him now. Oh, and then radar goes on. Fox 2. Splash 1. And that is a quick intercept, so we get ahead of the target, give it a bit of lead. And then get in a weapon parameter for our missile and shoot him down. There we go, a quick and easy intercept, and you can use this to get in behind a tanker as well if you're going to go do a tanker join. If you have liked the video, please go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. I'll cover more GCI stuff at a later time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Tactical Pascal, out!